it's Sunday morning, which means it's time to go and see this car. I am still half asleep. I'm so not a morning person at all. But we've got to um, empty out the old car because it's full of renovation stuff for the house. And I don't think we'll all get in it at the moment. So first job is empty that. Then time to go to Chesterfield and, oh, you don't know how much I am crossing my fingers that this car is what he says it is. Oh, and we might have a mechanically sound car after today. Oh. Let's hope so, eh? We are leaving the curtains shut today because it is so cold. And like I've said before, our doors and windows really need replacing. They're really old and they just let all the cold air in. So, because it's snowed again, we think, I'm not sure, um, and it's icy, icy cold, the curtains are staying shut today. It's so funny. It's all just ice now. Okay, so bit of an update. We have been, we have seen the car. We're 50-50 on whether we want to get it or not. It's so annoying. We were both really hoping we'd go there and we'd just be like, yes, it's perfect, let's get it. And we're 50-50. It needs a blimming good valet. We'll say that down all the corners and everything are a bit mucky, but that that's all cosmetic, so that's fine. Um, but as I was test driving it, the seatbelt clippy thing kept beeping and beeping and beeping. It didn't do it when James test drove it, but it did it when I did. And I thought, I can't drive it like that. So we've had a chat to the guy who is lovely. Um, he's going to see what he can sort. And he's going to give us a call tomorrow. And we're going to maybe do a bit of bartering when it comes to the price. So we still don't know. I, I really don't know we're just gonna have to go and do a think and also maybe have another look to see what's out there um but i'll update you when i know more so on the way back from getting the car we saw a train place now james loves trains well he loves anything with engines but it's called james where are we the roundhouse so we're at a train station thing called the roundhouse just outside chesterfield and we're going to have a look around so our day wasn't wasted if we don't end up getting that car So I'm going to have a go at this clocking machine, which they've renovated and works again. So I believe you put your thing in there and see what time you get to work. And then you give it a clock. And it tells you here what time I've clocked in though. Right there. <laughs> Brilliant. And then we put our card back in there to say that we're in. And you're set and you're getting paid for your hours.
has started snowing. It's very beautiful, but very cold. And this silly girl didn't go and get her coat and insists that she doesn't need it. Whereas I've got jumpers and coats and scarves and all sorts on. But we're just having a, a wander around outside. James has gone AWOL, um, which I fully expect because we're in a train place. So Kaya and I are in another train shed and there's, there's these trains and I believe that one of them is historically important but because I can't find James I don't know which one so I can't give you any information about it. Uh, never mind there's lots of engine-y things here as well I don't even know if they're engines they're something but I try and take an interest because it's James's thing um, but well it's not my thing is it but I'm here and I have a smile on my face we found him! Surprise, surprise, he's taking pictures of trains! He's getting his geek on. Have we been to the Deltic Shed yet? We have, but I've just explained to everybody that one of these is supposed to be historically <laughs> important, but I didn't have a James, so I didn't know which one. <laughs> right, so we've found him, as you've just seen, so we're headed back to the Delta, Delta Shed. shed. Delta. Um, Deltic, sorry, I'm being told off. Oh, I've got snow on my nose. Um, come on Kaya, so in we go and I'll uh, find out which one's actually supposed to be important and which one isn't. back in the shed and I'm with James and supposedly it's both of them because the historically important bit is the engine not the shell of the train that goes around the engine there you go don't worry I won't um, fascinate you with any more it's train that facts bit down there the really important bit the Deltic engine the, what? the big engine oh there. the big engine you can see at the back this this is the important bit the whole engine I mean look at that compared to the size of a car engine it's huge, huge. Again, I don't know why this engine is important or these, I don't know if they're all engines. I really don't know, but yeah, this is the important bit. Oh, see, I bet you never thought you'd get uh, train knowledge from watching this channel, did you? Oh, neither did I, but there we go. getting to go in a special place to go and look so we're getting thank you we're getting access to go and look at a special train um just looks like a train to me i have to admit but they're going to prove me wrong in a minute so if you normally see it in city okay it's like that chopped with the back end is foot, flat You've got the angle bit because it's high speed, then you've got all your carriages. Yeah. You've got another one of those on the other end. Oh, we're, we're now being allowed to go over some rails, um, which feels very strange to me because I've always been told you don't go on train rails. But we're with someone that works here and he knows what he's doing, so we're allowed. I just have to say that I would never recommend that anybody else walks on train tracks, gets down places like this. The only reason we are doing it is because we are someone in, with someone who knows exactly what he's doing that works here, so we know this is 100% safe. Trains! I, you know, it's a train. I appreciate that we're being allowed to do something that nobody really gets to do <laughs> um, 
but it's a train. It's making James happy. He's got a big smile on his face and that's what matters. And Kaya's happy because she's playing in the snow and I'm just here in support in the cold. But it's better than sitting on my sofa. Train. I'm not going to touch anything because I don't want to. Look at these, all these levers and dials. I must sound so silly because I really don't know what any of this is. And then you've got a, oh look there's a seat. So you sit there and then you've got a steering wheel. Oh, oh what's Kai showing me? Flat. Ah, there we go. Well spotted, Kaya. Then we've got dials here and here. So many that I have no idea what any of them do. And these things, I, I'm going to apologise now for anyone who is a train enthusiast like my husband, that I must sound absolutely ridiculous. And I do apologise for that. It is just due to a complete lack of knowledge about trains. But I still think this is a very, very cool thing to do. Oh. Well, she's found more. Okay, so we've finished walking around in the snow and seeing all the trains and we're now inside having a well-earned cup of tea to warm up. It was really good fun. We got to do some things that I don't think you normally get to do, but we did them because we knew it was safe to do them. Um, oh, but I need this cup of tea now to keep me warm. Okay, we're now walking back to the car and it's snowing properly, snowing again. Look, guys, show me a snowball she's made. We've actually had a really lovely day out today and we weren't expecting to come here. Um, the car saga still continues, not sure what we're doing with that yet. Um, but oh, that's us back off home. Now, unless you've, I don't know if you've noticed yet, but our life's a little bit random. We've got so many different interests from gosh from iphones to trains to oh going out walking to nails if you enjoy the randomness of my life then please do subscribe to the channel because there is plenty more randomness to come give us a thumbs up for the video if you enjoyed it i'll see you all again soon bye for now